So recently, some data came out showing that BRCA carriers who have an oophorectomy or their ovaries and fallopian tubes removed at age 35 have a longer life expectancy. And we've actually known for more than a decade now that for BRCA1 and 2 carriers who are at increased risk for ovarian cancer, that removing their ovaries and fallopian tubes at a younger age makes sense. My concern with the way the data were reported is it made it sound like age 35 is some sort of a magic age and that all BRCA1 carriers specifically should have their ovaries removed at that age. And that's not accurate. We have some BRCA1 carriers who have a family history that includes ovarian cancer before the age of 35. And so in those families, and depending on other things that have been seen in the patient, it may make sense to even consider some risk reduction strategies before the age of 35. In other families, and of course you can't base it only on family history, but sometimes we have women who aren't done with childbearing, they might want to wait till 36. And if I had been watching those TV broadcasts, I might have thought like, oh my gosh, 35 is the magic number. 36 will increase my risk in a, in a huge way. And the answer is that we don't know. I would really recommend that all BRCA1 and 2 carriers seek the advice of a certified genetic counselor to sit down with them to go over what mutation they carry in which gene to take a very detailed four generation personal and family history and to review their options if this patient has had 20 years of birth control con excuse me birth control pill use under her belt we know that she's already likely greatly reduced her risk of ovarian cancer. If she's had her fallopian tubes removed, for example, she may have greatly reduced her risk of developing ovarian cancer. And so a more personalized approach than let's pick the magic bullet 35 would be optimal.